Okay, so the last way that we're going to talk about commas today is in regards to lists, either lists with two items or lists with three or more items in it. So for the most part, these are pretty straightforward rules, but if you're confused by anything or have any questions, let me know. Okay, so we're going to start with lists that have three or more items in it. And there are two basic rules for these lists. First, you, you have to put a comma after every item. Except for the last item. Okay. Comma after every item except for the last one. And the second rule is that and goes before the final item in the list. But it goes before the final comma. This may be a little confusing, but we'll do examples that'll make it really clear, I promise. Okay, great. There are two rules for lists with three or more items. And why don't you look at your books now and see the example that they give you in your books. Okay, it's, the Joshua Tree was influenced by blues, folk, and gospel music. So take a second, read that to yourself again, and underline the items in the list while I write it up here. So, the items in this list, blues, folk, gospel music, and that's three items, one, two, three. So this falls under the category of a list with three or more items, and we use the rules that we just talked about. The first rule, put a comma after every item except for the last one. So, comma after blues, comma after folk, but no comma after gospel music, since it's the last one. The second rule, put an and before the final uh and goes before the final item, but after the final comma. So here's the and right here. Gospel music is the final item, so and goes before it. But this is the final comma, because we don't put, yeah, this is the final comma. <laughs> Any questions about that? Okay, great. We'll do one more example before we move on to list with two items. Okay, so let's say... The sentence starts with, on my walk, I saw, and then the list is, on my walk, I saw sunflowers, tulips, roses, peonies, um, daisies, and that's the end of the sentence. Okay, so... On my walk, I saw sunflowers, tulips, roses, peonies, and daisies. The items, one, two, three, four, five. Five items, it's more than three, three or more. So comma after every item except for the final one. Comma here, comma here, roses, comma, peonies, comma. And we put an and be at, before the final item, but after the final comma. This is the final comma, and this is the final item. So the and goes in between them right here. Right there. Okay, got it. So now, items with two, lists with only two items are even simpler. When you have only two items in a list, two items, basically you can separate those two items with a comma, or and, but you cannot use both. Okay, now let's look at an example. That sounds simple, but let's look at an example. In your book, the example that they list is, for the unforgettable fire, Larry Mullen laid down looser, funkier drum tracks. Take a second again, 
Read that to yourself. Find the items in the list. All right. Lay down looser, funkier drum tracks. The items here, looser, funkier. In the first example, they have them separated with an and. So lay down looser and funkier drum tracks. That's correct. Also correct would be not using the and and having a comma. Lay down looser, funkier drum tracks. They sound slightly different, so you get to choose which one you think sounds better in your sentence. But either one is technically correct. The only thing that isn't correct is if you were to use both. Lay down looser, comma, and funkier. That's not correct. You have to choose one or the other. This of a comma and, and then an item in the list only works in lists with three or more items.